Hey guys, so in this video, I just want to quickly run through the best way to install VST plugins in FL Studio 20 and just quickly run through another method to try if the usual way of doing it isn't working as well. So let's assume you've downloaded a plugin onto your computer. Most plugins come with an installer which saves the plugin somewhere in your C drive, usually in this common files folder or in the Steinberg folder in your program files. However, 99% of the time you don't need to worry about this, FL Studio will just find the plugin for you. So to actually open and use the plugin inside FL Studio, go to add up here and select manage plugins. This will bring up a list of plugins you've already installed in FL Studio. And if we click find plugins up here, FL Studio will search your computer for new plugins it hasn't come across before. Once it's done searching, we can then scroll down the list and the plugin will show up in yellow. Or if you prefer, you can use the search bar to search for the plugin. Now all we need to do is star this plugin and it will now be available to use inside FL Studio. So now we can just go to add and here is our new plugin. However, this method only searches these folders listed down here. If you've installed your plugins in a custom folder on your computer, you'll need to add that folder to this list so FL Studio knows it needs to search there as well. So we can do this by just clicking this plus symbol up here and select the folder that you've saved the plugin in. Now if we click find plugins again, FL Studio will now search all these plugins, including your specified folder as well. One last thing to mention, so occasionally this method doesn't work for some reason and FL Studio just can't seem to find certain plugins in custom folders. I don't know why this is, but the best way to fix it is to find the VST file for the plugin on your computer and drag it into this common files folder. When you do this, Windows will then tell you you need admin permission to add the file. So if we just click continue, and now if I do another search, FL Studio should be able to find the file and you can just load up the plugin straight away. It's as simple as that. So I know it's a short video today, but if you found you got some value out of this video, please make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel for for more FL Studio and music production tutorials. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.